The general consensus among dog researchers and practitioners is that puppy socialization practices have a large impact on adult dog behavior. A puppy who has been exposed to many different types of experiences, objects, animals, adult humans, and children by the age of about 12 weeks, all in a fun and safe way, is less likely to develop behavioral problems as an adult than a puppy who has not had many of these types of experiences. Some of the behavior problems that may result from lack of socialization are aggressiveness and fearfulness. But adult dogs which have had proper socialization as puppies engage in more positive social interactions with humans. Since research has shown that puppy socialization is important for raising a dog without behavioral problems, it makes sense that puppy classes would help in this respect. But the research on puppy class effectiveness is not so clear. There is some evidence that puppy classes reduce adult behavioral problems or improve dog owner relationships, but other research suggests that it doesn't make much of a difference. So it's possible that most pet dogs in Western societies already get an appropriate amount of socialization even without classes, and adding a class or two doesn't really have an effect. Breeders have an important role to play in puppy socialization processes because many puppies don't leave the litter until they're at least eight weeks old. Breeders should consider gently handling puppies for a few minutes per day from the time they're three days old until they're about three weeks old. After three weeks of age, breeders should start exposing them to different animals, objects, and experiences that they're likely to encounter during the course of their life, but they should do this in a way that doesn't stress the animal. Now owners will bring their puppy home at around eight weeks of age, which gives them another four weeks or so before the sensitive period of socialization ends. At this point, owners should make every effort to continue the good work of the breeder and expose the dog to lots of different things like children, animals, places, and other dogs. Since veterinarians will often see puppies come in for immunizations during the sensitive period of socialization, this is an ideal time to explain to owners the importance of appropriate socialization practice. This includes the best ways to provide the puppy with plenty of interesting experiences, while at the same time making sure that they're not put at risk of catching communicable diseases before they're fully immunized. Now, even though puppy classes do not categorically appear to impact on adult dog behavior, it might be worth running classes in veterinary offices in order to help the dog learn that the vet's not a scary place to go. After all, part of a puppy's socialization process should include trips to the vet. To conclude, puppy socialization is an important part of raising a well-adjusted pet dog, and breeders, owners, and veterinarians all have a role to play. The benefits of puppy classes are a bit less clear. There are several future directions for research in this area. A lot of what's known about puppy socialization practice comes from Scott and Fuller's work in the 1960s, but the world's a very different place now. The sort of deprivation studies that were permitted then wouldn't be allowed now, but it is still important to try to determine how much socialization is needed to produce an adult without behavioral problems. Also, while we know that there must be a minimum, we don't know what that minimum is or whether there is individual variation. We also don't know whether there's a point at which a dog has been so socialized that any extra socialization is unnecessary or even detrimental. All we know for sure is that some socialization is necessary, and without any at all within the first few months of a puppy's life, it will probably be unable to form normal relationships with humans.